Hi guys, it's Max and welcome to my October TBR. So in the month of October, I'm going to be participating in a month long readathon that is called the Phoenix Riders Readathon. And this is all based around the Crown of Feathers series by Nikki Pau Preto. I am so excited. I loved Crown of Feathers. It was one of my favorite books of last year and I did really enjoy Heart of Flames. And I will leave the creators linked down below, but I saw this and knew that I just had to participate and I'm out of my reading slump so this should be a really great month. So this is a readathon all geared around Crown of Feathers and there are different tiers and there's also different job that you can go towards and depending on what job you choose depends on how many books that you have to read and how many prompts you have to fulfill. I am going for Ruler of the Golden Empire which is the most amount of prompts which is 20 and that is about four prompts per tier because there are five tiers. The first two tiers, everyone has to do the same amount and all of the same um, prompts. But then going up from third, fourth, and fifth, that is when they start to differ. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, for tier one, welcome to the wagon. Read a book from your favorite genre. And for this, I'm going with Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I got an arc of this just the other day. I am so excited. Thank you, NetGalley, so much for giving me this. I am so pumped. I absolutely love the Stalking the Jack the Ripper series by Carrie Maniscalco, and I'm really excited about this one. This is about a girl whose sister dies, so she makes the deal with the devil to get revenge. And I am so excited. I realize now that I think this is gonna be in the October fairy loot, but that's okay because I just want to read it ASAP. And it is fantasy, which is my favorite genre. Prompt two, get to know everyone. Read a book with LGBTQ plus themes or a POC main character. And for this, I'm going with Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. The main character is a woman of color and so is the author. All I know about this book is that it is about a girl whose family has magic, but she doesn't. And I think she makes a deal with the someone to get magic in return for years off her life. I have not heard much about this except from Jade from JD Ray Reads who didn't really like it so I am a little nervous but I am really excited. I've seen this everywhere. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about this book and I am really pumped to finally pick it up. The next prompt in tier one is learn history or mythology, read a historical fiction novel or a retelling and for this I am going with Any Rogue Will Do by Bethany Bennett. This is another arc that I have. It's coming out in October so I have to get to it. I think what this is about is a girl Girl makes a deal with her family to do at least one season like coming out season until she does something and then at the end of that season it was disastrous and, she was, and so she makes a deal with this guy who kind of like ruined her reputation for some reason uh, over a misunderstanding she makes a deal with him to pretend to be engaged and he's like oh it's the least I can do for her so now they're pretending to be engaged I'm hoping that it is just a fun historical romance all right and then the fourth and last prompt for tier one is clean the stables book that has been on my TBR for the longest now because all of the books that I own physically that I'm going to be reading are recent purchases because I finished my own TBR. I am going with the book that has been on my Goodreads TBR the longest and it has been on there for years and that is Princess of the Silverwood by Jessica Day George. This is the third book in a trilogy. I have not read any of the other books but I'm hoping that this is like a companion fairy tale retelling series. If I start it I might borrow the first and third one and if I start the third one and realize oh this is not I can't read this then I'll just revert to the first one. And this is a Little Red Riding Hood retelling and that is literally all I know. All right, and now on to tier two, prompt one. Get sponsored, what is a book that was gifted to you? And I'm going with a book that I was kindly sent by the publisher uh, through NetGalley, but the publisher chose me and I am actually part of the blog tour. So keep an eye out for my review of this book. I will leave the date of my part of the blog tour, AKA the date that I will be posting the review down below. I'm so excited. Thank you so, so much to everyone who decided to include me. I'm very appreciative and I can't wait to be a part of it. And the book is A Golden Fury by Samantha. 
Samantha Coho. This is about a girl in the time of the French Revolution whose mother discovers this, the Philosopher's Stone. And she's an alchemist, and so she has to figure out what, where it is and how to get it in the midst of the French Revolution. It sounds really, really great, and I'm so excited. And again, thank you so much to the publishers and the author for wanting me to be a part of the blog tour. Next prompt is Animage, read a book with a mythical creature, and this is a reread for me. And I wish I had put it in the books I wanted to reread video. There's a couple times coming up that I wish that. Um, but that is Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. This is kind of a anthology of, or a telling of the whole Targaryen line in the Song of Ice and Fire universe. I'm very excited to reread this. I just, I loved it when I first read it last year, but I can't remember a lot and stuff, and I just want to reread it because I want The Winds of Winter to come out, and it hasn't. So why not just reread an old favorite? The next prompt is find an egg, read a book that you think is underhyped. And for this, I'm going with Paige by Tamora Pierce. And kind of overall, The Lady Night Quartet and any book by Tamora Pierce, I feel like even though she is a classic, iconic middle grade author, I don't hear anything about her. The only person I've ever seen read a book by her was Reagan from Prue's Project when she read Tempest and Slaughter. That is it. And I really, really like her books. I like her story. I like her writing. And this is the second book in the Lady Knight Quartet about the first Lady Knight since Alana, who was the first. And I am really enjoying it. I gave the first book five stars, and I hope that I love this one just as much. And then the last prompt in tier two is care for slash incubate the egg. Read a book over 300 pages. And for this, I'm going with my Alison Weir book for the month, and that is Mary Boleyn by Alison Weir. This is about Anne Boleyn's older sister. She was a concubine mistress of two kings, the French king and Henry VIII, and it's just kind of telling her story. I haven't read anything about Mary Boleyn. I've read a lot about Anne Boleyn and about Henry VIII's actual wives, but nothing really detailing Mary's life. And I feel like she's got a really bad rep from people over the years, especially men. And so I am really excited to finally kind of read more about her as a person. All right, and now into tier three, and this is where everyone's TBRs will start to differ. Um, I am, again, going for Ruler of the Golden Empire, so I'm reading as many books as possible. And so for the first prompt in tier three, it is Quick Reflexes, read a short book or a graphic novel. And for this, I'm going with The Adventure Zone Volume 1, Murder on the Rockport Limited. This is a reread for me. I read this two years ago, I want to say, but can't really remember much about it. And I do want to continue on in the graphic novel series. So this is a reread. It is based on a D&D &D podcast uh, from the, the McElroy brothers. And I'm so excited to be back. I am currently listening to The Adventure Zone Graduation, but that is the only one I've listened to. And so I just think I'm going to love this series. I absolutely love D&D &D and the McElroy's podcast. So I am very excited to pick this up. Okay, the second prompt is Study Poison, read a polarizing book. And for this, I'm going with Meet Cute Club by Jack Harbin. I have heard people loving this, but also not really loving it. Kevin from The Irish Reader, I know enjoyed it, but didn't love it. And so I feel like that's kind of where I'm going with polarizing, where I feel like people are very divided on whether or not they like it. This is about a guy who is like very cynical and jaded and thinks romance books are ridiculous and then he meets this guy who's like the leader of this romance book club and they fall in love and it sounds very cute and just a fun fast read. Next prompt is flying lesson. Read a book with a dragon or a phoenix. And for this, I am finally going to be reading His Majesty's Dragon by Naomi Novik. I have heard amazing things about this. I loved Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I am so excited for The Deadly Education, and I think I am going to love His Majesty's Dragon. I've heard amazing things. All I know is that this is the French Revolution, but if they had dragons. And that just sounds amazing. I guess this is the month for the French Revolution because I'm reading two books that have to do with it. Uh, but yeah, I've just heard it's kind of almost like a classic in the dragon fantasy genre and I am pumped. It's like a six or seven book series and I am ready for it. All right, and then the last prompt in tier three is bilingual. Read a book that was translated or has a fictional language. For this, I am going with The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. I am participating in Tolkien Along, hosted by Ashley from a 
frolic through fiction and in the month of October we are reading The Fellowship of the Ring. I am so excited. I finally saw the movies for the first time in March and now all I want to do is read it. I read The Hobbit in September and I'm just so pumped to finally pick this up. I think there's a fictional language in this. That's like the whole thing is that J.R.R. Tolkien like created his own language for the elves. If it's not in here, rip me, but I, it should be. It should be. I'm very pumped about this. I just... I just like, you know, it's just a series that I know I'm gonna love. I just have been putting it off for my whole life, basically. Um, and if you don't know what this is about, this is about hobbits and their fellowship, which are elves and humans and dwarves, and they're all trying to return this ring that corrupts anyone who has it and return it to Mount Doom where it was created and destroy it. And it is a long, high, epic fantasy trilogy and I'm so pumped to finally start it. All right, and now into tier four and the second to last tier. The first prompt is focus, read a book in one sitting, and I'm going with The Adventure Zone comic volume part two, Here There Be Gerblins. I don't know anything about this. It's just the sequel to The Adventure Zone part one and yeah, I'm super excited. The next prompt is learn archery, read a book with a weapon on the cover, and I'm going with The Sword in the Stars by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. I read Once in Future last year, and even though I didn't love it, I am, I do just want to finish the duology. This is an Arthurian legend retelling where Arthur is a girl, Merlin is like a teenager, and it's gay, and they are just trying to take down kind of like Amazon, but like a monopoly, like huge has taken over the world sort of situation. The next prompt is Shadow magic, read a book about a villain or a character that you learn to love, and I'm going with The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. This I am kind of counting as the djinn that our main character summons because he's not like a nice guy at the beginning, but then I learned to love him. He is like a divisive character where I feel like a lot of people don't like him. I do. If you don't know what this series is about, this is about a girl in ancient Egypt who's a con artist, but she accidentally summons a djinn who takes her to this magical city. And our second point of view is the prince of that city. And he also grew on me. I didn't really like him in the beginning, but then I did end up loving him. This is a reread for me, but I am so excited because I'm, I'm planning on continuing the series for the rest of the year. All right, and then the last prompt in tier four is gain the enemy's trust. Read a book from a genre you don't usually read read and I am going with horror and the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. Yes, there is fantasy. I do read fantasy, but I'm not a horror person, so I am really excited. This is about a woman who I think is going through a divorce and she's in this book club and then this enigmatic guy is part of the book club and you find out he's a vampire and stuff happens from there. This is by Grady Hendrix, who's a very famous kind of wacky horror author with like Horror Store and My Best Friend's Exorcism. And so I am hoping, this is the first book I am reading by this author and I am hoping that I really enjoy it. All right, and on to the last tier, tier five. And the first one is Ambition. Read a book over 500 pages. And I am going with The Shadow of What Was Lost. I feel like I've talked about this book numerous times on my channel, but that is because I am just so excited to read this. It's just something about it. It's just appealing to me. It's huge. It's floppy. It's a great, awesome, huge trilogy, and I just can't wait to pick this up. I hope I love it. If I am disappointed in it, I think it's gonna break my heart. But all I know about this book is that it's about a ma our main character who realizes he has an illegal type of magic, and I'm sure that just sets off a huge chain of events and stuff happens. It is well over 500 pages. I'm pretty sure it's almost into the 700 page mark. Yeah, it's like 690 pages. And I just hope to love this so much. <laughs> All right, for my next prompt, it is leadership. Read a book that is your least reviewed book on Goodreads. And for this, I'm going with An Arc of A Stitch in Time by Kelly Armstrong. I am so excited to pick this up. I loved Kelly Armstrong's young adult novels. I read them when it was like the perfect time to read them, like that age where I was like 15, 16, and I loved them. I know people when they read them when they were older didn't like them as much. Probably if I did try and read them again, I wouldn't like them as much. But this one is about a girl who had this imaginary friend or who she has like convinced herself was an imaginary friend. But then when she comes back when she's an adult to this abandoned house, she realizes he's not so imaginary. I hear it's like a ghost tale meets 
time travel so like spooky but I know there's romance and we'll see I am pumped I think it's the perfect time to read this and this was an arc kindly gifted me as well by NetGalley all right and now my second to last prompt is raid read a borrowed book and for this I'm going with adventure zone volume three petals to the metal I borrowed I borrowed all of these volumes from my best friend uh she sent them all to me because i wanted to read them and it's just it's the third one and then i will be all caught up on the graphic novel series and will be able to read them as they come out all right and then the last prompt for the last tier is coronation read crown of feathers or heart of flames for this i'm going with crown of feathers by nikki pow preto now i have i do own a copy but it is in one of my many boxes from books that i read in college so i I'm not going to go search around for it and I am planning on listening to this as an audiobook so I am so excited I just loved this when it came out and when I read it last year this is about these sisters who are a illegal type of magic user who can control and talk to animals and they are separated because our main character wants to become a phoenix rider so she disguises herself as a boy and infilt and kind of becomes a phoenix rider while her sister does other stuff and I loved the first one I did really really enjoy the second one and the third one's name was just announced and I'm just so pumped I cannot wait for the third one I'm so excited but for now I'm just gonna have to tide myself over with rereading the first book all right everyone thank you so much for watching I hope you join me in this readathon and I will be posting weekly vlogs so please keep an eye out for those and I will see you soon with another video bye